Hi, it's Lena Goat from Lens Crafty Life, and this is my entry for Peugeot Blues. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Don't know if it if it's Peugeot of Pirjo of Pirjo. I don't know if she uh, comes from a southern country. I'm quite new to her channel, so let me know. And um, what she has a 500 uh, subscribers challenge giveaway, and what she would like you to do is um, to either make an A5 uh, piece, well, an A4, but then double. So this is an A5 piece of journal card or journal uh, pages or a tag or an envelope and uh, something that she can put in a journal. So this is what I made. Uh, she does like the Chevy Chic vintage style, but you can do your own style as well. And I went for the kind of vintage style and I... Did something different, used different colors than I normally do because I had this beautiful image of this mannequin with the uh, with the peacock tail. Hope you can see that. And I just love that image. So I dug out my peacock tail, kind of like, you know, ink. And let me tell you which ink that is that I used. A distress ink. It's ever evergreen bow. That's the one that I used. So first time I used it, and I just challenged myself in using different colors than from my usual pink and whites and creams. So I had this block with this. Uh, this is Prima paper, which is very pretty. Use that as a background, and it is quite sturdy. So. Uh, then I recently got this piece of material from a friend and I thought that went really well with it. Put some trim on here. These are some off cuts that I still had and some buttons in the similar peacock feather kind of colors. And here you can barely see it, but there is some tulle here. It's kind of in a, in a skin colored and it has these little um, little flowers on it which is very cute, I think. And I also stamped on it with one of my favorite stamps, a script stamp, again, in the same color ink. Then this is the inside. Let me just put that down. And um, I made like a corner pocket here. I put on this, uh, this material. Um, this is kind of like uh, a ribbon that I distressed myself. I fluffed it up myself. And the sides that I had to cut off to be able to do that are these, these flip thingies. So I didn't want to chuck them. I wanted to use those as well. So then I made these two tags. This one to go in the pocket. These images that I used, not the one on the front with the dress form, uh, but the other peacock images that I used are, I got from uh, the Digital Collage Club. Now this actually is a, um, a tuck spot here. You can tuck something behind it. And um, again, I put some of the beautiful material there, a peacock image. This is some kind, it looks like a, a vellum kind of, paper but it comes from a photo book like an old-fashioned photo book at least that we have here over here in Europe in the Netherlands where you just have the thick pages and in between the pages where you stick your photos there's this vellum kind of page that protects your photos the photos from one page from the photos on the other page here's some book paper the back is just plain this is a larger tag with another Peacock, I do like this image. It's so pretty. She's so cute. And again, some of these fluffy bits, bits a tiny uh, button, and that vellum kind of thing. And the back is plain. These are some tags. And I just stamped on the front and the other ones she can, you know, use to either stamp on or journal on herself. That's an extra little thingy for in there on this side i made a belly band again with the pretty material and here some of that other material on the side i also punched out with my tap punch 
I made this. Uh, I'm very happy with the tap punch board. I think it's from uh, We Are Mem Yeah We Are Memory Keepers. Is a tap 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 punch board. Yes, can I still speak today? <laughs> Hope I can. So I'm very happy with that uh, punch. Makes lovely tags since we don't have the Manila file folders over here in the Netherlands or even in Europe. They're very hard to come by unless you want to pay a fortune and get them shipped from the States. So I made this little uh, little booklet again with some I had just a little snippet left of this very soft green dangle trim so I thought I may as well use that on here because it goes really with the colors there's some coffee like paper in here and I made a punch tab here with a Martha a Martha Martha yeah we say Martha Martha Stewart punch again the uh, the script stamp on here and i think you you may have seen my very vintage let me just get it my vintage stapler that i got the other day only two days ago and i showed it in this massive massive charity shop hole the one the video of about 52 minutes and I got this one also in large and it had this, so it's very old, very vintage, absolutely love it. The size of the staples is just the normal size, so when they're finished I can buy new ones, but I absolutely love it. So I used this one actually for, I used that one on here, I used a larger one because this one is too short. Do I have it here somewhere? Yeah. Let me show you because I like it so much, this one. I use this one, isn't it beautiful? Love it. But anyway, it's not about that. I use that to staple the booklet. So these are very old bronze staples. So I was happy to use those straight away. So that goes in here, up to the bottom and the button over there. And then on the back, I made another corner pocket. Let me get these out of the way, that looks nicer. I made another po corner pocket over here with with some of that golden material, some of the fluffy bit, and I made a envelope again out of the sturdy Prima paper. Another peacock image on there with some Velcro and a journal or photo card with yet another peacock. So. Uh, I really enjoyed doing this. A bit of a challenge for me using these other colors, but I do really like it. And uh, Peugeot, I hope you like it too. If not, pass it on. <laughs> Feel free to pass it on. But uh, anyway, I do hope, of course, that you do like it. But uh, there you go. And do check out Peugeot's channel. I pop a link to her channel below this video. So do check her out. She's a lovely lady. And uh, she's very much into journaling. And uh, thanks for watching and have a great day. Okay, bye-bye.